Today is a really special day for our university as we are uh, celebrating two things. Uh, we are celebrating the achievement of our students for the past semester. We are also celebrating our first graduate students. So, it's a part of the time day and I hope everyone will enjoy it. The purpose of our project is to map small cities like Somon. And what is particular with our project is the fact that the mapping will be not only in 2D but also in 3D. Ce prototype, c'est juste un, un concept ou bien un appareil qui sera attaché à un drone. Et maintenant, c'est ce drone qui va faire le déplacement à la place de, de l'humain. Et il va faire le déplacement, aller sur le, sur le terrain et prendre les, les, les échantillons de sol et amener au laboratoire pour l'analyse. C'est l'association des deux. Il va avoir la capacité de se mettre partout où il veut, c'est-à-dire aller, on peut le poser à l'intérieur de la salle, le, le, utiliser la, la méthode quadcopter et le faire sortir de la salle. Okay. Ensuite, quand ça atteint une altitude donnée, prendre la position pleine et aller à la vitesse, euh, la vitesse idéale. application we want is to sell these products in African laboratories. So we realize that we are all buying our materials in US or China. So if UNICEF wanted this material, for example, for example, they would order it in US or in China and import it here in Senegal, which is very tiring, required times also. That's why we are trying to create those type of machines for laboratories that are here located in Africa. So basically build, uh, bringing our engineering skills in the medical field to help them achieve greatest yeah, outcome. I'll give you an overview of our project, which is named Hoverjet, which is a, a vehicle, small vehicle that can go up to space by using a turbojet engine. So it covered the different physical aspects like thermodynamic cycle, like the Brayton cycle, and also the Newton cycle, which is action reaction. So we have the jet engine. So we're using like the jet engine swimming AD, S S W A D B, and also we have like the GSU. Uh, which means like ground support units and also we have the ECU which is like kind of like the central the central lighting like, for the for the parameter uh, in, for the for our test survey. on tractor. The tractor is a machine adapted to, to meet the needs of farmers. Uh, that's why we create a, a tractor to make it labor easier and create a job across the plant chains. A mechanism that will be placed here so that the, the guys who is going to drive it will uh, stand or sit in the, in, in the tractor so that it will be so easier to use. Basically that was our project. This is an example of tools that are using it right now. Oh, 
qui peut se déplacer sur le ce qu'il peut faire. Maintenant, les utilisations de robots, c'est vaste, qui peut passer de l'éducation jusqu'à la médecine dans un futur assez avancé. Lorsque je parle de l'éducation, ça pourra permettre aux professeurs qui, est pas, qui, sera, qui est absent de faire tout en ligne, tout en pouvant écrire grâce aux robots. Something that is really important in engineering that I learned is that you have to be um, persevering. You have to keep going because the first time we actually did this, we actually did this. We had a lot of challenges. Uh, sometimes our motors weren't working. Sometimes um, our Arduino's were, were um, breaking or something like that. And also, this is this is really soft, so it used to explode. So we learned that we had to keep going. We had to keep trying in order to to have um, something close to perfect. So I think that's really important. That's a really important mindset that we have to develop when it comes to engineering.